You have paying the bills and then there are passions. For a lucky few, they are one and the same, but others find their solace and serenity in something other than what they do to pay the bills. In today's sightseeing, Corey Atkins reintroduces you to what may be a familiar face. He used to work here at 9 and 10, and for many, a familiar voice who has a special talent that he loves to share. That's news on WTCM. I'm Peter Fortin. This is how most people know Peter Fortin, the deep voice behind the microphone delivering news for WTCM every day. Now on the AM side, um, it's at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6 are my newscasts. In between, we do traffic reports, um, road conditions, weather, headlines, things like that. So yeah, it's a pretty busy day. But Peter still finds time nearly every day to do this. They'll probably bury me with a camera in my hand. His passion is photography, and he started with 8 millimeter movies as a boy. Then I went into the service and really got serious. That's when I had my very first still photo printed in a newspaper at a base at Loring Air Force Base up in Maine. And then I was oh, hooked. Oh, yeah, well, look at this. I mean, my God. From a... Maine to Europe to northern Michigan and beyond. His career may be all about listeners, but here it's the eyes that have it. We see things differently than the average person. They look and see this whole big wide sky. We see a little viewfinder version of a snapshot. I shoot everything. I've done portraits, landscapes. I love wildlife. But I'm not a wildlife photographer that sits in a blind with a 800 millimeter lens and waits for animals to come by. I call it ambush photography. That means being fast and sometimes patient, like one of his most memorable shots from a car on a back road in Kansas. I rolled up on a jackrabbit. It hunched down, put its ears down, and I turned the engine off, focused on him about 20 feet away and sat there and waited. And all of a sudden, curiosity got him and he stood up and his ears came up and they were just high enough that the sun backlit them. And you could see the veins and everything. Took a couple of quick shots as soon as he heard the shutter, boing, he was gone. But he got that shot. Now it's among tens of thousands stored on his computers. Peter says he knows the story behind almost all of them. I went to Washington, D.C. last year. We went with the, uh, the World War II veterans, and we were at the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier. And it's just the guard at the tomb, but the sky, the clouds, we had a rainstorm come in. And the sky just became very dramatic. And it really tells a good story about the, the loneliness of that job. And some may say this is lonely too, but for someone who deals with people, news, and what can be a stressful job, this is Peter's perfect way of winding down. Yeah, I love it. It's just, it's my life. And it's a way of decompressing from work, anything that's stressing you out, because when I've got this in my eyes and my camera, I, I'm not thinking about anything else. And then when you get a great shot, it just feels that much better. For sightseeing in northern Michigan, I'm Michelle Dunaway.